And one of the most common questions I got in the 50 and up category was, what is the most efficient way for a woman older than 50 to train for the maximum health span and lifespan benefits? I love this question because I get it all the time. We have to turn our brains away from everything that's been predicated before to this point. So if we're looking for longevity and we're looking at what we want to do when we're 80 or 90, we want to be independently living. We want to have good proprioception balance. We want to have good bones and we want to be strong. So this is where we look at 10 minutes, three times a week, jump training. So this isn't your landing softly in our knees. This is like impact in the skeletal system. Uh, a colleague and friend of mine, Tracy Clissel, did a PhD and um, post, not a postdoc, but post research on this and is developing an app on it to show women how to jump to improve bone mineral density. Over the course of four months of this type of training, people have gone from being osteopenic to normal bone density. So it's a different type of stress. So if your concern is that, which a lot of women do have a concern because they lose about one third of their bone mass at the onset of menopause. Wow. Uh, yeah. Significant one third? amount. Yeah. Goodness if gracious. If you don't do something as an intervention. So we see a lot of women are like, oh, I'm going to go on menopause hormone therapy to stop um, bone loss. Yeah, it can be a treatment, but I always look at an external stress that we can put on the body that's going to invoke a change without pharmaceuticals. So jump training heavy resistance training and sprint interval training. Those are the three key things. And from a training standpoint, and then from a nutrition standpoint, getting protein. Protein is so important. When you start telling women they need to look at around one to 1.1 grams per pound, which is around that two to 2.3 grams per kilo per day, they're like, whoa, that's a lot of protein. It is because we haven't been conditioned to eat it. It's but a few reality, scrambled eggs. Yeah. It's a it's, chicken breast at lunch. Yeah. It's a small steak at dinner. Yeah. Plus other things. Right, exactly. Yeah. And it doesn't all have to be animal products. I mean, you're looking at all the different beans and things that you can put together. And that's the other big thing that in order to build the muscle and to keep the body composition in the state that we want it to keep going for longevity, those are the big rocks. The sprint interval training, the heavy resistance training, the jump training, and the protein.